What's up, truckers? How you guys doing? You guys doing all right? You guys doing fun? Uh, everything okay? Everything all right? Because I'm moving my mouse over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mouse is moving. This is a pretty good game. How you guys doing? I am Eric, and I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable. Well, it actually says you are playing it, but I haven't really started it yet, so technically I'm not playing it. Uh, if you haven't heard, which is hard to believe, uh, but if you have not heard of this game, it was made by Galactic Cafe, and uh, I heard about it a long, long time ago from Super Sauce, who saw PewDiePie play it a long time ago, who I'm sure other people play with it. Uh, and it was just a, a regular game for a while, uh, and it was in development. And then about a year passed or something like that, and now we have the new game that came out, I'd want to say about around a month ago, maybe not that much further out, uh, going on a month now. And like everybody's playing it on YouTube. Uh, and it's a really interesting game. Uh, I was thinking about not playing it, but I liked it. I remember when I tried it, I was very interested in the whole idea of the way it plays. It doesn't really play like a normal game, I'll say that for sure. Uh, and these guys definitely have an interesting sense of humor. I guess get used to that aspect. Uh, and even though everybody's played it, I don't care. This is my playthrough. I'm going to play it. So we're going to start the game. That's right. That's how I roll over here. Okay? Don't dispute me. That's just how it is, okay? Load. Load. You know you want to. Anytime now. Oh yeah, just loading your game. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You loading? You loading very slow. That's for darn sure. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I guess I should tell you a little bit about the game. Uh, it kind of started as far as a game that you kind of make decisions basically. Your guy named Stanley, as you'll probably see in the cutscenes, and you basically have a job, and you're told exactly what to do all the time and uh, I mean they'll pretty much explain the same thing that I'm telling you basically the game is about you make different decisions and there's a multiple a multitude of endings and all of them uh, have different I guess uh, things you can find out about this bigger storyline uh, so I guess you do one thing and that's one way of beating it and you learn a little bit you do another way and you might learn a lot more and some are just really ridiculous sometimes it ends in like five seconds sometimes it ends in ten minutes and sometimes it ends with things that you gotta do that are crazy. Like some achievements I've noticed from people playing it, it it makes no sense. Like I have no idea why you would even do something like that. Uh, but there are lots of them, and so rest assured, there are many things that you can do. So this I'm gonna is give the a story shot. of a man named Stanley. Tell me more, sir. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job and Stanley Just coffee. was happy. I'll just let you guys check it out. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. My something he would sleep. never quite forget. Is it my butt being He had asleep? been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No I one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, so here we are. As you can tell, Narrator pretty much filled you in and everything I told you. Oh my god, that is really, uh... Can we change that, please? Uh, mouse sensitivity. Wow, it's already... Um, uh, well, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just keep going. It'll be real sensitive, though. I'll try and slow down so it don't make you guys sick. So I'm 427. Let's go check around. Wow, we move quick. Can I just click on stuff? I love how when you press the mouse button, the left mouse button, it sounds like you're pressing keyboard. Okay, so like I said, you basically just have to make different decisions, and you really have no idea 
uh, how it's going to end. So, let's see. I've always wondered about this, by the way. I, by the way, I've watched Super Sus plays a few times, so I kind of know a few things. And I've known a few things from watching the demo and all that kinds of stuff. But I'm going to try it my own way. Um, and it is... 11.25, right? I guess? I always wondered about that clock. Okay. Let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Woo! Let me in. Who comes? All of his co-workers were gone. What could uh -huh. it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard oh. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Nothing's happening now. Can I jump? Can I, uh... Can I do anything? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly what? five clicks. What are you talking I suppose about? suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Uh, all right. I don't know what's going on. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps what are you doing? 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. The heck are you talking? I don't know what he's talking about. I just wanted to click doors, dude. I'm a door clicking kind of individual, so I don't really judge. All right, whatever. Just achievement. Do I get a door achievement or something no, like that? No, Is that what I'm, I get? I'm still not feeling it. I I the want heck? this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see you commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't, don't you go put on. 20 <laughs> clicks into door number 417? Wait, what? All right, I don't know what he's doing, but whatever. This is news, so I guess I'll roll with it. 417, where's 417? 417, 420. Get off. It's not that one. There it goes. So I got whatever. I don't know. This game's weird, like I said. <laughs> Give you an idea of it before. Oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Are you kidding me? All right. Whatever. I'll play your game, narrator. I think I remember somebody doing something like this, but I don't remember what happened. I know somebody clicked a door, but I was just clicking doors because of that. Was it four three seven? Right. Okay. I went too far. There it goes. This one. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? This is better be cool. By the time I'm done with this, I want to have, like, a freaking shotgun or something. Okay, whatever. Now, back to yes. door number 437. I will destroy you. I will destroy everything. If you were not just some random floating voice in the... Uh, whatever. 417 or something? I don't know. What was it again? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the heck are you trying to make me do? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but he wants me to do something. All right, whatever, dude. Just... Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. What? Uh, all right. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Okay. Uh, We've almost got it. Now the <laughs> copy machine. Do that one again. Uh, You sound a little more excited than you should be there, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, copy machine, copy machine. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Why do you have to put these things so far away? Why can't they be Finish close? it up, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! You okay over there, buddy? Just saying, you look yes! a little excited. Yes! We did it! Oh, <laughs> wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. <laughs> Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? I do not like you, narrator. <laughs> All right, well, did anything else do that? No, just doors. That was weird, man. I don't know what the heck else. I mean, I, I vaguely remember somebody clicking on stuff. That's why I'm just clicking on everything, but I did not know I would have to go through some 
flipping gauntlet of door... Hey, my door's closed. Can I not get back in my door? All right, well, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> it killed like six minutes right there. I mean, just running around opening doors. Or trying to open doors. It didn't even open anything. Click. Click. Oh, man. Give me something. Wait, what? Oh, cool. I can open the door. Wait, didn't that machine... Oh, what the... Hmm... Huh, you don't say. Hmm, interesting. Absolutely devilish, Mrs. Haberdashery. Oh, uh, wait, wait, that doesn't even have a number. That's weird. I've never seen a door without a number in here. I didn't do anything, didn't do anything. Your computer's off, your computer's off. That's off, that's off. I haven't seen any of the computers. And I abs uh, accidentally turned them all off, so I thought something would happen there. Excuse me. Okay, well then, that's a whole big bag of nothing. That's what Eric's got. Fine, whatever. That was pointless. What is that? I hate Mondays. What the? Why is there a... Uh, hmm. It almost looks like a stage, doesn't it, sometimes? Look at that. It's got like a hole in the ceiling. I really think... For the most part, there's really just one big fabrication. All right, well, I'll play your game, guys. Click on a painting. Everything sounds like a keystroke. It's very odd to me. Oh, I'm doing anything? No, I'm doing that. No. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of Whoop. two open doors, he entered Kay. the door on his left. Okay, so here's another important part of the game. It really depends on what you want to do. I've seen so far. I haven't gone through all the uh, playthroughs. Seems like obviously you have one of two choices, and it depends on what happens. That kind of sets things in motion, and then there's other things that set more of that into motion. So it's just different scenarios. Let's be, mm, let's be a good guy first. How about that? Okay, but, 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 and a big but. Uh, let's, uh, no, nothing, no, no, nothing there. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. I don't know what's going on. Yet okay. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, then I want to read this, actually. Uh, bu 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 weekly target administration, IT department, bu 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 legal question mark. What to do? What to do about four three two? Don't tell four three two about the meeting. Four three two. This box is so small. This box is too small. Office party. Da, ba, da, ba. Hmm, I had a feeling there was something in there. Wait, what? Cabal planning group. Group planning. Floor four double X. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Can I alter it? Rip Franz? What does all this stuff mean, man? I mean, with this game I'm pretty sure there's all kinds of tiny little innuendos about things, and obviously since you've seen they really have a good way of uh kind of portraying that idea. <laughs> Targets, push get rid of, get get Chris out of the broom closet. Hire somebody to synergize papers. Who moved my desk? The future was yesterday, tomorrow. Tomorrow is now. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda. Employee 417, 405, 431, gym. Okay, I can't do anything there. Anything on the table? No, can't do anything on the table. Nope. Then here, by quarterly. We need reviews for two one four gonna remove the death sport portion of the moon, but I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. Work harder, hard worker. Space. Throw something in the ideas bin. No more bins. Ideas bin. Okay, whatever. I can't get that. Using slides for sure employees everything. Okay, make sure that you have blah, blah, blah. everyone is eat, you most of all. Okay. Interesting. Ah, the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, that's okay, buddy. I don't think I'm going to be good this part. Wait, what? That's just... There was nothing here, 
No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Oh, no I don't think so. To still be here. But it said get Chris out of the broom closet. Why would it, why would it say that? It was that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing <laughs> sweet F.A. Come on. I know there's something to this. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing yes, around yes, doing I am. Nothing? Yes, Why? yes, I am. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I read it on the whiteboard. There's something about the broom closet. Let me do something. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <sighs> Fine. If I said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never mm. would have thought to mention it. Fine, we'll leave. There's something to that, though. Hmm. Something to that. I will figure it out. Coming Kay. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm. Now, I remember Super Sauce going up. But there is something down. Let's try down. You're supposed to go up, and it ends something. You kind of find out something about this whole corporation you work for. But down... And you figure out something weird about the reality you're in. That's just a light. Nothing there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, well, we'll close the door. Can't close the door. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting uh -huh. he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His One, boss would two, think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers <laughs> blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. That's a little weird. Made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors yeah, sure. close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply uh, yeah. repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. <laughs> Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life uh -huh. job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined this himself part. flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ah. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Mm -hmm. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? And you go on now for a while, dude. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as this awake is right now <laughs> as he's ever been in his life. Could you just wake now, me up or what? Now, hearing speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Uh -huh. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, Fantastic. that this was in fact a dream. 
Did the voice yeah, not great. see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. I'm not going so anywhere. he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press oh. of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. So am I awake, Nith? <laughs> and nothing happens, of course. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Hmm. So I this guess I reached one in it. Of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. So there you go. So I'm assuming that's the one that ends where Stanley dies, I guess? It's very confusing, I'm pretty sure, as you can tell. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how the other ones go, but I'm gonna try and keep track of it, and as time goes on, I'll figure out how this goes. Anyways, so guys, that is the Stanley Parable, as you can tell. Uh, but uh, oh. Hold on. What if a crucial okay. outcome... Okay. There we go. Uh, anyways, so I hope you guys come back next time. I'm going to try more of the Stanley Parable. Like I said, I'm very... Uh, in. I guess enticed by the idea of this game that it's not your typical game. It doesn't exactly do everything that you would normally think a game would do. And it's, you know, has no guns, has no anything you pick up. It's just decisions. And it's just based on telling different stories and kind of depends on what you want to do and that's how you're going to figure out more about the game. So anyways, join me next time. More of the Stanley Parable with Eric. The Eric? The Eric? Ericable? The Eric Parable? The story? Anyways, it's, the, it's with me. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> um, anyways, you guys be good. Don't cheat anybody and do your homework, okay? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!